Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We had a lot of content yesterday on FIFA 22 Ultimate Team, and it's not stopping. The Coin Drain SBCs, the brand new upgrade packs, are continuing to roll out as we have a brand new pack coming today. That is the leak. An 85 plus times three upgrade pack that is leaked to be dropping in this game today it just kind of falls right in line with what ea is trying to do with this game and they're succeeding with their objectives at the moment in dropping the market and getting people to drain their coins on all types of upgrade sbcs um, gamble sbcs icon sbcs upgrade packs everything right it's just a big sbc push right now ea definitely trying to drain coins as they head into the team of the year time period where they're going to open or get people to open a lot of packs with the fever points and stuff like that so what i want to take a look at in today's video is of course what the content is going to be coming today i want to take a look back at yesterday as well and talk about this mid icon sbc the fernando torres and the clarence seedorf player icon SBCs, which were a bit overpriced and icon swaps and how that affected the market, how we saw a lot of drops in price and some rebounds and take a look at how that could happen again today. Take a look at SBC fodder and it is, it is up, but I still think that it could go higher because of the SBCs coming today. And of course, take a look at the team of the year vote. I'll show you my vote and talk through things a little bit on kind of what we learned about the time frame for team of the year as well. So if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, as always, leave a thumbs up. It is greatly appreciated and subscribe if you're new. But let's get into what's coming today because this is what you're here for, right? We got to talk about this SPC, the 85 plus times three. Now this is a leak from, of course, our trusty foot sheriff. He has said that it is coming. Now you see a lot of people down here in the bottom trying to theorize what could this SPC cost? And that's the big question for today because we have never had an 85 plus times three SBC released. We had the 85 plus upgrade that was released last week that was dirt cheap, 21,000 coins. That's really, really cheap in price in my opinion. And we've also had some 85 plus doubles and an 85 times five from previous years, around 70K, 200,000 coins for an 85 times five. So looking at this SBC and also how expensive cards are on the market right now, the index 85 and a lot of this SBC fodder, has gone up a ton in the past couple of days with all the SBCs that we have had. And I think it's gonna continue today. But I mean, if you take a look at this, a lot of these guys are saying, you know, 84 with two informs or an 85 rated squad with an inform, you know, all of that kind of price is out to somewhere around, you know, the 75 to 100,000 coin range. I think EA could even get people to do an 85 plus times three SBC if they made it like 125K. So that's kind of like my guess, between 75 and 125,000 coins. This is an SBC that so many people are going to go out and do, because think about what you have in packs right now, right? You have got headliners team too, with guys like Fofana, Vinny Jr., Cancelo. Um, you've got the Salah card that is in packs right now. So you've got a ton of great cards that are in packs. You have a Conte Inform that is in packs, all of that stuff packable from an 85 plus times three. So people are gonna wanna do this SBC and, and whether they're gonna open it you know, today on the spot or whether they're gonna save it for team of the year a couple weeks down the line, this is gonna be an SBC that almost everybody, in my opinion, on this game is going to want to do. It's a gamble SBC. Remember last week, we had the 85 plus pack, right? We, take the look, we took a look at it here. We also had the 84 plus player pick that was re released literally a week ago. Those type of gamble SBCs move the market so much because everybody has the fear of missing out, right? OMG, what if I open this pack and got Mbappe? Or OMG, what if I got Vinny Jr.? When what actually happens is you're gonna end up getting an 86 and two other 85s, but that gamble opportunity is why everybody loves to do these SPCs and they're fun, right? I have nothing against them, just as long as you're being smart with your coin balance, because this is gonna be a very craftable SBC as well. Even if it comes in requiring a couple squads, like an 83 and an 84 rated squad with a couple informs, you've got, because of part of yesterday's content was a 78 plus player pick SBC, and the, in my opinion, undervalued, I think this SBC doesn't receive as much love as it actually is, kind of good value the 81 to 87 upgrade overall 
which is very cheap. It only requires four cards, two gold rares. Um, I think this SBC is a really good one that you can use to craft SBCs as well. So with a combination of these two, you'll probably be able to get that 85 times three pack done decently easy over the next couple days if you want to take that route as well and kind of craft it up. So, I mean... I do think that 85 times three, it could, and it has potential to be a little bit ex uh, expensive and overpriced, but it's a nice pack to either stash for team of the year or have a little gamble pack and open it up you know, in the next few days, especially while you can craft it. And people are right now with icon swaps, right? Transitioning into talking about yesterday's content and how that affected the market um, with icon swaps going on right now, you've got so many people that have fodder cards coming into the club because they are getting their icon swap tokens. And a lot of people, in my opinion, are opening up these 82 times 25, 83 times 25, maybe redeeming some of the icon packs and some of the higher tier stuff. But even if you're going after somebody like, you know, let's say you're going after uh, Del Piero, which probably you're not, but you know, Zambrata, right? Zambrata is 14 tokens out of 18 available that you could attain. That leaves you with four tokens left. So you're probably able to get an 82 times 25, or maybe just the 81 times 25, which I've already redeemed from that. So uh, I think a lot of people are opening these packs right now as well. Some people are saving for team of the year, but People are just loving the SBC content on this game because there's upgrade packs, there's gamble SBCs, there's a lot to do in that right as well. So I think there's a lot of people who are going to do this 85 plus times three today. I feel like between 75 and 100K is how much it's going to end up costing. And again, just speaking back to the SBC fodder standpoint, this fodder is up a lot. Take a look at Aubameyang. He's 8,000 coins, right? Look at where he was on Sunday. Five and a half K rising to 6,000 coins. Even yesterday, 6K booming to 8,000 coins, right? This stuff, honestly, unless EA would drop like some sort of preview pack. And even, even then preview packs doesn't, doesn't really supply the lower tier of fodder that much. Um, unless they drop some sort of crazy pack that's like for free that everybody gets to open from a daily SBC and it's tradable or something, you know, I honestly see this fodder going up because these gamble packs like the 85 plus times three, everybody loves them and you know it's going to be 83s 84s 85s and 86s that are most affected by an SBC in that 75 to 100k price range so if you still have some of this in the club you would look you might be looking forward to a time today where they go even further up in price i wouldn't try to buy in to this stuff since it's already up a decent amount like you know the index 85 going from 129 points peaking at 168 now back down to 153. I honestly think you're going to see a slow rise in today on the fodder, then a bit of a peak when the 85 times three comes out as it is leaked to be today again, of course. Um, and then probably like you see here, maybe a little bit of a drop off at those inflated prices. So just be wary of that. This is going to be, in my opinion, maybe one of the only pieces of content today. I'm really not sure what else they would do. Last week on Tuesday, I think they dropped the 84 plus player pick. And I think they dropped a player SBC as well. I don't remember who it was, but I think they dropped a player SBC at the same time. So keep an eye out. I don't know if we're having any of those, any more of those, but that could be what we see on the market. Now, speaking of the market again, in general, what we had yesterday with the mid icon upgrade and also the uh, icon swaps being introduced, a lot of people sold cards on the market yesterday with those two, two, two big pieces. I know that we had uh, Seedorf, and I know that we had the Fernando Torres SBCs, but you know I think EA kind of overpriced these SBCs just a little bit. I think Fernando Torres is coming in at around his market price, and Seedorf is actually more expensive as an SBC uh, than his market price. I believe he's like 320k, and this SBC is like 350, maybe even a little bit more. So I'm a little bit, you know disappointed by that but i think when ea made these sbcs probably like they crafted them or, or you know set up their prices for like the fernando torres and the cedar for last week you know last week fernando torres before the leaks of him getting an sbc was like 1.4 mil and you know this sbc coming out at 1.1 would seem kind of like a deal then um but of course not anymore as people have seen the leaks and they knew that torres is coming so they sold his card so that was a bit unfortunate from yesterday's content, but still a lot of people went out and did the mid icon upgrade as it was the exact same SBC, non-repeatable again, as we expected as last Monday. And of course that impacted the market. Now, some of these market movements that we're going to talk about here, they could be replicated today because again, you're going to have the same sort of, you know, 
market, I guess, trajectory happening today with a lot of people maybe needing to go and sell some cards to get coins to go buy the 83 to 86 rated fodder cards to go do the 85 plus SBC. So you're probably going to see some more prices dropping today on the game. But let me take a look and tell you how you can maybe make some coins off this because that is exactly what we did yesterday. I bought a lot of these cards as they were being panic sold and dropped in price as people were like, oh my goodness, I got to go do the mid icon upgrade or I'm selling cards for my team to go do icon swaps. This Kunde is a perfect example of what happened on the market yesterday. Take a look at this card, right? This is what happened as a lot of cards dropped in price. Some of them also rebounded and that's where the coin making opportunity is. Take a look at Kunde, right? He was 330,000 coins yesterday on Monday. Heading into the content drop, he goes from 330 down to 307. People selling cards again from their teams. And then you see a bit of a rebound as people go and buy them back after they go to the mid icon SPC. And they're like, okay, not that great, right? How did I know that this Kunde was going to rebound? Well, he's a French center back. Everybody is running French squads right now. So think about the three things that we always talk about, right? We talk about meta, we talk about popularity. And we talk about rarity, right? These versus cards are pretty rare on the market because there was only in packs for a few days. This Kunde Fire one especially is very rare. So I knew that when he dropped about 10% in price, he dropped about 30,000 coins. I knew that that was going to be a scenario where I could pick that card up and sell it for profit later. So I bought two of them at 305, sold them at 330K where he is right now. This Kunde was one of many cards that had the exact same fluctuation on the market yesterday. Take a look at Genduzi, right? This Genduzi yesterday during the post weekend league rewards time frame, 287,000 coins. His drop off doesn't look as drastic, but he was 265K in this time frame. He was actually 260K and he's rebounded back up into the high 270s. Um, you know, I've even seen him at 280s. He's down just a little bit right now. So again, another French, very meta and popular card that has rebounded back in price. A couple other options that I saw. Let me, let me look through a few of these cards that are up here that maybe rebounded from yesterday. Uh, and Bobby was 80K. He's now up to 90,000 coins. I bought a Fred at 228. He's now 245. Um, let's see if I take a look at some of these other special, uh, card teams, uh, winter wild cards had some good fluctuations. Sterling, who was just 360. Uh, yeah, you can see this 350 is an undercut. He's like 367,000 coins. Take a look at his price dip. He goes from 350 down to 330 and then spikes back up to 360 where he kind of is now. That was a great movement yesterday. Martial was down at like 670,000 coins. Um, you know, a lot of cards on the game yesterday, some team of the group stages like Bruno Fernandez, who is 620. He was all the way down at 570. This Marquinhos, who is 620 right now as well, was down in the 570 to 580 range. So there were some good flips that you could have made there. Salah, who is over 700,000 coins, was down at like 630. And Thiago Jalo, who I also traded with, was down at like 360K. So just knowing what kind of cards are rare, popular, and meta on the game, you're probably going to see some people having the same sort of, you know, market movement as yesterday, you're going to have to see people that will sell cards to go into this 85 plus times three. So it may not be as drastic as yesterday, because of course, they dropped the um, icon SBC, which costs 400k. But a lot of people may have depleted their clubs yesterday, spent some coins on doing this. And now they have to go sell some other coins to go ahead and do an 85 plus times three today. So you may not see as drastic of panic selling today, but again, just look around and start to learn some of these prices, right? If you didn't make any coins yesterday and you're like, man, Nate, how did you flip those cards and know when to buy Kunde? Take a look through at some of these special teams, right? On flipping, look through all the team of the weeks. Uh, here, here's another example, right? Van Dyke was 800,000 coins, went down to 750. He's back up to 810 little bit of a lower budget, right? I know there's a couple cards in lower tier budgets that I saw move um, yesterday. I'm trying to find a good example of one, just scrolling through some of these promo squads that I maybe saw yesterday. I think Klosterman might, might have been one that moved a decent amount of price, but go through and take a look at some of these graphs. Like how about Bamba? 92K for Bamba. Did he get sold off at all? He was 97K, went down to like 89, which you know what? Probably in this stage, you probably could pick up some bids and snipes for like 85K. And now he's back up to like 92, 93. He was 93K. So, you know, that's the kind of stuff that you could be looking into today. Again, we focused on the three 
different criteria for trading with some of these cards, right? We look at rarity, how rare the card is on the market, baby icons, icons are pretty rare cards. They were great places to buy in the panic. Out of pack specials, pretty rare because they're not supplied anymore. Then popularity, again, French League One links are very popular right now. I stayed away from most midfielders. And as you can see, some of the cards I'm still trying to trade, they're actually down in price because midfielders are in the mud at the moment. A lot of midfielders did not rebound yesterday because this Fofana card is no longer extinct on the market, but it has everybody so hyped to try him out. He's a million coins at the moment, very expensive. Everybody's really hyped about this card and they're trying him out. So they've sold their other midfielders, right? Another card that I was kind of watching yesterday was like mid Mateus. He's usually like 1.7 mil. And right now he's like 1.5, 1.51. Like, man, some of these icons are just so cheap right now. It's crazy. 1.55 overnight. It's crazy to see how, how low some of these cards are. And you know what? Some of these are going to go lower today because I bet as we take a look at some of these cards, these are people that are trying to make coins off this Mateus. Uh, and they're traders, right? Let's see if there's any traders out of this bunch. Yeah, right here. Second owner tradable. Boom. Somebody bought this. It's got no games played on the current club. That's a card that is often recognized as if you see that, it's like a trader, right? Somebody bought this card to try to trade with it. I was looking at a best, a prime best. This is a really good way to tell if there's other people competing against you when you're trying to flip a card on the market. Uh, take a look at a couple of these. 158 on this best. No, it's this one. The 1565. Zero games played for the current club. That is a clear sign of somebody who bought the card with intentions just to trade with it and flip it since they have not played any games with it. Um, so you see a couple of these bests here at 1.57. I know that best was 1.45 earlier yesterday. So these guys are trying to make quick flips out of it, uh, but best is still 1.55, right? He's not even selling at that price that they're trying to achieve. So that's the thing I'd be a little bit careful with. This Essien dropped down a lot, right? He was like 640. And right now he's still 660, so there's not any profit in that. So the one thing I would give you some advice on if you're watching for panic selling today is um, make sure you try to find some cards like I just sold my Fred at 250. Dub, I bought that at 228. Make sure to try to find some cards that have dropped off a high percentage amount. Again, that fit the three criteria that we always look at. And also, you can't expect them to rebound back to the price that they were, right? Base Vieira, out of packs, French popular icon. I know it's a midfielder, but he's a really rare icon and he always rebounds, it seems, whenever you watch this card. Uh, but this Vieira, who I cl clicked on the wrong one, so we're going to have to go back. Okay, Patrick Vieira, 86 rated. He was like 1.04, 1.05 million coins yesterday. And as you can see now, he was low. He was under 900k, but now he's just back up to the high 900k range. You can't expect with the market being constantly devalued with all of these coins that are being drained because of these upgrade SBCs, icon SBCs, and gamble packs like the 85 times three that'll be coming out today. Since you continually have coins being drained off the market, you can't expect a Vieira like this to go back all the way up to 1.05 million coins where he was on the weekend, right? He's gonna only rebound up like maybe you know, most of the way, not quite all of the way. So just kind of calculate that. And when you're watching for price drops today on this game, make sure you, you remember and keep in mind that cards are probably not going to rebound all the way to where they were because the market has less coins than it did before. That's just kind of something to keep in mind heavily. Of course, a lot of people, I'm sure you guys are involved in this, doing icon swap objectives. I've kind of started on a few of these myself, getting some of the friendly games done. I've been doing a few of these, four out of six. Um, and this is also where a lot of people are spending their time. So part of the market drop off that we saw yesterday on some cards that, that didn't really rebound that well um, is just of people that are going out and doing icon swaps, selling their teams to go run untradeable items um, to complete icon swap games. Take a look at Gold Messi, right? Gold Messi was 300,000 coins, went down to 273, slightly rebounded, really not a lot of profit in it. Neymar Gold was down really bad yesterday. Uh, he was like 440K. He actually rebounded. Man, that's crazy. 448 down to 411, back up to 440 where he is right now. He's basically 440K. So watch out for more market movements. And, you know, you still will see some panic selling today, even though the 85 plus times, 10, uh, times three is going to be a cheaper SBC. I still feel like you're going to see some market movements today that will result in some panic selling. And from that panic, you'll see some rebounds. So, Keep an eye out on the market for things like that today. 
uh, with that big time SBC. Now, I don't know what other content we might be getting today, but I feel like most people are going to be working through again, doing objectives, whether it's for the Zakaria or icon swaps. There's a lot of objective gameplay grind right now, or they'll be putting coins into upgrade packs and crafting SBCs through the 81 to 87 or the 78 plus upgrade. All of those things. It's, it's really the focus right now in FIFA is not on having the best team possible and, um, you know, playing your rivals, playing your weekly qualifier games. They're, the focus is on all spread out areas of the game. So that's why I feel like the market is also down a little bit at this time with Headliners Team 2 content kind of, you know, you know it's not bad content. We actually had a lot of content yesterday. It's just uh, we're kind of all coasting into the Team of the Year time frame, which speaking of Team of the Year, that is what I want to talk about next. Of course, yesterday they released the official voting for Team of the Year. And I know, I know a lot of you guys have already built these. I want to see some of them, right? If you have these, send them to me on Twitter. I like looking at these. They're pretty dope. That link's down below in the description if you want to tweet me there. Feel free to do so because I like seeing your guys' votes. Now, again, it's so much fun, right? With all the banter, with all the different possibilities and teams that people build and why they choose things, who deserves it, who are we voting for FIFA purposes, for IRL purposes, just have fun with it, right? Banter, jokes, you know, disagreeing and agreeing with people. It's all fun and fun and dandy with these predictions like this. Because in the end, we know that these, look, take a look at the fine print by EA Sports. We know that yes, the final team of the year selection will be determined by community votes. But there's always this caveat and they never tell us how much of this caveat is put into place with possible input from EA Sports, right? There's always that little bit of a unknown and they never reveal the actual stats to us as to who actually gets in a team of the year and what the actual votes were. So it always seems to be a little bit rigged, which is why you got to have fun with it, right? And you can't just say, this is going to be team of the year. Mine's right. You know, everybody's just right to them. It's fun, right? It's a prediction. It is a vote. So this is my vote. I kind of went off of a who deserves it, but also who would be fun to see in FIFA, kind of a mixture with really only one card in here being biased because I am a Spurs fan. So a Hyunmin Sun uh, card. Honestly, I, I'm voting Hyunmin Sun because I think he could really get an honorable mentions card because I think a lot of people would vote Sun just for FIFA purposes. So I'm hoping for that, but you know, again, I like to think Mbappe is the cover star of this game. Ronaldo, how is he not gonna get a lot of votes? I feel like EA is gonna find a way to put in a card like an Mbappe for sure, and hope and maybe Ronaldo, right? I, I don't know how they fit Ronaldo in. I feel like he's gonna be in a lot of people's votes. He's gonna be popularly voted, but he might end up being the 12th man, or especially for like an Mbappe who's the cover star on this game. You know, you feel like EA would kind of honor that a little bit and kind of like. Maybe it's even signing an Mbappe's uh, cover star contract that he has to have a team of the year item or something like that. I don't even know. So some of those things seem to be part of the rigged aspect of this. I also think that like Teo Hernandez being a next gen player has an increased chance of getting into team of the year. Although a lot of people are probably voting for him for FIFA purposes anyway. So have fun with this, right? Tweet me yours if you want to have fun with it and just don't take it too serious because again, as we see here, this voting goes live through January 17th. So that is kind of giving us a preliminary guess. If this goes the same way that it did last year, Team of the year will be on January 21st, starting with just the attackers, most likely impacts at that time. So we still have a whole nother week ahead of us after Headliners Team 2. I think EA will fill up that week with some content, which we'll talk about that later on this week. But that kind of gives us like a little bit of a landscape for Team of the Year and how it looks. Now, one other thing that I want to show you guys really fast too is from that video yesterday, uh, that they tweeted out. We learned a couple things. This is the official team of the year car design, which I think looks pretty dope. Love the graphics on it. I also had just had the screenshot at the perfect moment to see Harry Kane, which is the dub. And also this is the team of the year nominee uh, car design right here. So I don't know if this is honorable mention or team of the year nominee. It's just kind of something to keep in mind that both of those things are possible through this promo of team of the year. So that's going to be the video today, boys. Big SBC coming with the 85 times three is probably going to shake the market up a little bit. Of course, more people doing icon swaps, crafting SBCs through player picks 
and uh, upgrade SBCs on this game at the moment. Hopefully there's some other good content coming for us later this week to keep Headliners Team 2 alive and keep us occupied until Team of the Year. But if you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It has been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.